Welcome out to It's All Been Done Radio Hour. We have Porn Star Detectives for you this week. Three's company from our June show at Mad Lab last summer. Speaking of Mad Lab, they are our wonderful host site here in Columbus, Ohio. We love them dearly. And coming up, our next show will be Saturday, April 14th at 5.30 p.m. Tickets available at madlab.net slash tickets. I'm recording this way ahead. At least I assume we're not sold out yet. Probably not. Come see us. We've got spring break goodness for you. Also, check out our parent network, It's All Been Done Presents, found at ibdpresents.com. Podcast, written work, video series, more, all made here, right here in central Ohio. So we think we've got lots of talent in the city. Check out all of our work and see if you agree. One of those programs is Quarterly Book Club, or QBC for short. Why quarterly? Because you're busy and books are long. Each quarter, Samantha Stark talks about a new book. This year's theme is historical nonfiction, and you can read along and join the discussion at quarterlybookclub.com. We're in the second quarter right now, and so we are reading Mrs. Sherlock Holmes by Brad Ricca. Ricca? Ricca? R-I-C-C-A. Check that out. Also, shout out to Circle 270 Media, who this podcast is a part of. Now enjoy the episode of Porn Star Detectives. Our final feature this evening has everyone's favorite porn star slash detectives, the Porn Star Detectives. Hi, I'm Amber Showers. And I'm Stacy Triple X. We're porn stars. And sometimes lovers. <laughs> Not usually, though. What are we usually, Stacy? You can do it. Oh, we're detectives! We're porn star detectives! High five! And this is Bruce, our manager. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi. <laughs> we work cases at night and shoot film during the day. That's what she said. <laughs> Porn Star Detectives! Tonight's episode, Three's Company. We begin with the girls setting up their new office in Amber's apartment. This is kind of a small space. I'm kind of a small space. No, you aren't. <laughs> well, <laughs> do Stacy is staying with me, and you lost your house while you were out of work. I was in so jail. We... Falsely accused, mind you. Right, so this is what we have. Get us some paychecks, and then we can look for a real office. Right. I am on that. Yeah, you are! Go, Bruce! Thanks, dude. Isn't this great, Stacy? It's our first day back as porn star detectives! Yes! What are we gonna do first? Porn starring or detectiving? Um, I guess it depends on what Bruce finds for us to do. Well, I still need to file for my license to actually represent you, which I'll do today. So, probably detective work, if anyone responds to the ad I posted on Craigslist. Amber? Yeah, Stacy. Who is Craig and what is his list? Oh, I don't know. Bruce, who is Craig and what is his list? You know what? He's just a good guy. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's let's get you some work and we can get you that office. <laughs> <gasps> a client! Oh, Kenny! How'd you know? Move out of the way. Where's Kevin's jacket? Um, Stacy isn't jacking Kevin off anymore. Oh my god. Damn right she's not. Well, I don't like your tone. Who are you? Gina is Kevin's very, very close cousin. <laughs> Airhead, now where's Kevin's jacket? Which one? 
Don't play dumb. I am not playing. She is yeah, not. No. <laughs> no. The varsity jacket he got for football. He hasn't seen it since you moved out. Ooh, Amber, I think we have a case. <gasps> Yay! Don't worry, Gina. We'll help you find Kevin's jacket. No, you moron. Stacy stole the jacket. Kevin wants it back. I would never steal. Except all of your hearts. <laughs> All I know is the jacket was in his apartment, and so were you, and now neither of you are anymore. Don't worry, Gina. We're detectiving again, so we'll be happy to find it. How much will you pay us? Pay? I'm not going to give one dime to a couple of brain-dead sluts. Whoa! Hi, hi, hey, hi. Hi, Gina. Hi. Nice seeing you. Come back real soon. Hey, don't push me out. I have rights. Barely. Okay, bye. Ah! Bye. <laughs> Bruce? Why did you push out our customer through the door like that? Yeah, she's your customer the way she's Kevin's cousin. Exactly! Which means, where should we look for the jacket first? Nowhere yet, Stacy. She didn't say that she would pay us. Well, we'd better not mess with her. Um, I know who Gina is, and her uncle's connected to the local mob. <gasps> Amber! The mob has money! No, 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 no. no Lots no. of it. Mm -hmm. That's a really good point, Stacy. <gasps> Maybe we should look for the jacket first and then see how much the mob wants to pay us for it! That's such a good idea! Well, I guess that would keep you out of trouble while I get things in order, and, and it wouldn't hurt to find the mobster's niece what she's looking for. But let me handle the business stuff. You get the jacket, you bring it right back here to me. Deal? We can't play cards right now, Bruce. We have a case. Oh my god. Okay. Um... <laughs> Bruce. Will you bring the jacket back to me, please? Okay. We don't know where the mob lives anyway. Thank God. All right, see you later, Bruce. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Bruce. Stacy? <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. It feels like Christmas was six months ago. Nope. Only a few weeks ago. So where should we look first, Stacy? Hmm. Oh, how about we talk to Merv? He's always selling jackets down on Broad Street. Ooh, good idea. We're pretty close. I think he's right over there. Oh, hi, Stacy. Hi, Amber. How are you today? <laughs> We're good, Merv. How about you? Oh, I'm cold. Since it's January out there, my old bones, they don't like this winter weather. Well, actually, I found that boners like it when you use an ice cube in your mouth, and then you take the ice cube. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, you two sure crack me up. You always put a smile on old Merv's face. Aw, thanks, Merv. So, you get any jobs yet? Yep, we're... Oh, you went back to that old gig, didn't you? Did you get a paycheck yet? Not yet! Oh, rough life, I understand. Business hasn't been too good here either. I mean, I think I need to move to the better side of town, but they always kick me out down here. How hmm. rude! Exactly. But I'm sure you know how it is. Folks like us, they always get shoved around. Why, this one time, it was just a really, uh, really... Uh, Merv? I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're actually on a case right now. Ooh, well, I'll be. What are you looking for? A jacket. Old Merv has tons of them. I can help you out. You got money for a jacket by chance? Uh, no, we're looking for Stacy's ex-boyfriend's Kevin's varsity jacket. Oh, you dumped his ass then. Good. He was a scuzz bucket if ever I saw one. And now he's got you out looking for his jacket, huh? Yep. And when we find it, the mob's going to pay us money. The, 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 oh boy, the mob, huh? Uh, I don't want to get mixed up in any of that. If, if you find it on the table, you just take it back to him right quick. Don't, don't, don't. Um, Amber, I don't see Kevin's jacket on the table. What color is the jacket you're looking for? It's like bling. Huh? <laughs> you know, bling. Oh, uh, no, Stacy, it's actually a morning blue with an avocado accent. <laughs> I like to memorize colors. Oh, you do, huh? Oh, I don't think...
think I have nothing like that. I'm so sorry, girls. That's okay. Thanks, Merv. Thanks, Merv. <laughs> Bye. Huh. Where should we look next, Stacy? Well, the last time I saw it was on our, not our, on Kevin's bed. We don't have to look there if you don't want to, Stacy. No, we're detectives, and detectives have to follow the trail no matter where it leads. I'm a processional. <gasps> Me too. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Now, how do we get in? Through the door? <gasps> oh, good idea, Stacy. Uh, uh, it's locked. That does make it more difficult. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, what are we going to do now? Oh, I still have a key. <gasps> oh, I guess that works. No, it isn't turning. Mm. Oh, maybe we could smash the door down or pick its lock or call a locksmith or burn it down Ooh, or ram it with a battering ram or dissolve it with our minds <gasps> Ooh, or dissolve it with hydrochloric acid. Oh, or we could, oh, oh. I, I, I was just turning it the wrong way. Here no. we go. <laughs> just like frozen. Okay, let's get in, have a quick look, and then get back out. Okay. It was on the bed last time I saw it. <laughs> I know where the bed is, right through there. Oh my, the sheets are tangled and all messy. Yeah, just like I like them. <laughs> well, maybe the jacket is somewhere tangled up in them. Let's see. Oh. What the hell? <gasps> oh, hi Tori. What the shit are you doing in my bedroom? <gasps> Kevin gave you his bedroom? Who is she, Stacy? This is Tori, another one of Kevin's cousins. They're a very, very close family. Get the bitch out of my apartment before I call the cops. Well, we used to work for the cops. You don't do no more, do you? No, but they're still our best friends. No worries, I got a friend too. This here baseball bat is my friend. Maybe I introduce it to your schools? I don't know, thanks. I think we have enough friends. That's Kevin's baseball bat. Yeah, it is. And since I'm with Kevin, it's mine too, so you best get out. Uh, we know you're with Kevin. Duh, you're his cousin. Don't play with me now. What do you want to play? Candyland? Shoots and Ladders? Bumper to Bumper? I I'm sorry, Tori. We don't have time to play. It We're looking for Kevin's varsity jacket. Have you seen it? I haven't seen nothing that's any business of y'all's. Maybe we should go, Amber. No way, Stacy. Not without looking for the jacket. Well... But if we try to look, I think Tori might hit us. Damn right I will. Oh, listen here, Tori. I don't care what you or your cousin Tori the oh. Tornado, what the F are you doing in my man's bedroom? Gina Bella Slutter, what the hell are you doing in my man's bedroom? Casey? Yes, Amber? Um, I'm starting to think that maybe these girls aren't Kevin's cousins. No, we're not his cousins. How dense are you two goons? Amber, how do you measure density again? Uh, I don't know, Stacy. Geography? I know my man Kevin isn't cheating on me with no gutter skank like you. Oh, no, don't even start with me. At least my nickname ain't a sex act. Jealous? In your dreams. This baseball bat is getting jealous of your hair. Might be it wants to get on your head. You think you're so tough, you just try it. Doesn't take much to be tougher than you. You redneck, inbred piece of trash, you listen How to me. I swear to God, away. I'm gonna... What? I'm gonna... <laughs> wow. That girl has some volume when she wants to. Let me see if I understand. Neither of you are Kevin's cousins! Nope. Not even a little bit. And you're both sleeping with Kevin? <sighs> yeah. Looks like. Wow, Kevin never even wanted to have sex anymore when we broke up, and now he's having sex with two women. Uh, Stacy. She slow? I think so. Stacy, I don't think Kevin started banging them after you broke up. <laughs> well, he couldn't have been sleeping with them before I left him. He was cheating on me with Kelly. Are you effing kidding me? He's screwing Kelly too? I don't understand. He said he loved me. Yeah, it kind of sounds like Kevin's a liar. <laughs> that lying scumbag. When I tell my uncle, he's going to get both his legs broken, and that's just for starters. There's no need to get the mob involved. I got a bat, and there's a tennis racket over there. What say we take care of this jerk ourselves? I'm down. You want to help us, Stacy?
Stacy. Oh, thanks, but no thanks. I don't like violence, but you two have fun. Um, bye, Gina. Bye, Tori. Bye. See you around. Now, Tori, I've been wondering how you do the tornado thing you do. Oh, hey, yeah, it's simple. You just bend your legs and you get a real nice hit in there. <laughs> um, are you okay, Stacy? Yeah, hi, Amber. You look sad. Um, I am a little sad. Don't worry. You don't have to see Kevin ever, ever, ever again. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not sad about him. I stopped caring about him when I found out he cheated on me. Well, then, then what's the matter? Well, this was our first case back, and we didn't solve it. Oh, it's okay, Stacy. I don't think we were going to get paid anyway. <gasps> oh, hey, look! There's <gasps> Murphy's waving at <gasps> us! <gasps> oh, this cold winter air on my lungs. <gasps> Amber! Stacy! You'll never guess what just happened. That cheerleader friend of yours, uh, Kelly? Oh, yeah, she, she's not our friend. Well, she came by my table to sell me this varsity jacket. I think it's the bling one you're looking for. <laughs> oh, my God, it is! You know what this means, Amber? <gasps> yep, another case solved by us, the Porn Star <laughs> Detectives! <laughs> High five! Uh, and, and Merv, too? <laughs> So Amber and Stacy are once again back on the beach. What else will they investigate? Come back and find out next time in another Porn Star Detectives. It's all been done. Radio Hour number 117. Porn Star Detectives number 14. Three's Company. Starred Amanda Iman as Amber Showers. Samantha Stark as Stacy Triple X. Dallas Ray as Bruce. Mary Dean Jackson as Chase. Karen Perta as Gina. Ryan Yoey as Merv, and Caitlin Hamilton as Tori. As always, the podcast was narrated by Chris Allen. Foley artist, Brendan Talty. Our music director is Kristen Green. The theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley and Jerome Wetzel. Sound and recording was performed by Shane Stefanchik. This episode was written by Jerome Wetzel and directed by Katie Boisenault and Nick Argenbright. Huge thank you to Chris Allen for editing this podcast and for Nick Argenbright, our story consultant. Please check out our website. It's all been done, radiohour.com. Follow us on social media at IABD Presents and support our show at patreon.com slash IABD. You can give as little as a dollar a month and that greatly helps us out. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. We're Porn Star Detectives! <laughs> you have to take that one fade. Amber's drunk. Hey, don't push me out. I have right. You barely have options. Okay, bye now. <laughs> Maybe we could smash the door down, or pick its locks, or call a locksmith, or burn it down, or ram it with a ramming ramming rod, or maybe a battering hammer, or maybe resolve it with with our minds, or solve it with acid, or just do a whole bunch of other weird stuff, or- Tori the Tornado, what the F you doing in my man's-